Hello. Aww. It's just finishing up another wonderful article for the forecast. I'm Dr. Jason Goldstein, and this is 40 Questions with Dr. Jason Goldstein. How do you start your day? Well, I usually start my day by opening my eyes and blinking a little bit, and then I listen to a lot of ambient music to relax and chill out before I get to Hawk a Day. Who is your favorite actor? Well, um, right now it's Matthew McConaughey, I would say. Can you do an impression of him or her? Let me see. Let's see. Um, all right, all right, all right. Oh, they're going to hang up. What are some family traditions that you have? Well, uh, my family is very big into celebrating birthdays uh, and holidays in general, but we share a lot of, we exchange, we always exchange cards and gifts, and we all get together. Usually my aunt, my two aunts and my mother do all the cooking and all the work, and everyone else just uh, enjoys all of the fruits of their labors. If you could be a rock star from any decade, who would you be? Oh, that's a good question. How about uh, Lou Reed? What is a song from the 90s that you still listen to? Ooh, let's see. I listen to a lot of 90s music, but I'm pretty fond of Elliot Smith. Let's say Angelus, Elliot Smith. What is one thing you still have from your childhood? Ooh, let's see. In an abstract way, let's say my shyness. I'm shy. What was the name of your first pet? Mandy. It was a poodle, a little black poodle named Mandy. What is your go-to feel happy song? Ooh. Well, I listen. I like a lot uh, Thunder Clatter by Wild Cub. If you attempted to play any sport professionally, what would it be? Okay. Well, I lettered in varsity PE, so but although we say that there's an athlete inside of all of us, and I do like to play tennis, so I'd say tennis. What is your favorite sports team of all time? Oh boy. Well, I went to UT as a graduate student, so I should say the Texas Longhorns in general. But I do like the Houston Astros as well. What's your favorite place to hang out? Ooh, I like libraries. Libraries and art museums. What is your favorite decade? Hmm, the 70s, the, the 1870s. When you're not working, what is one thing you love to do? I love to read. Love to read. I'm an English teacher, so I think that's probably a good thing to love to do in my free time. What color is your favorite shirt? Uh, well, I have on a white shirt today, but I really like green a lot. I don't get to wear green shirts, sometimes green ties. I'm trying to build my green tie collection for Hawk a Day. What is your go-to restaurant? Go-to restaurant in Dallas. Uh, I love Eatsy's. I don't know if that's really a restaurant. It's more of a, a takeaway place, but I also love Celebration Restaurant. I like good Southern comfort food. What is your worst habit? My worst habit? Worrying. What is your best habit? Mm, maybe worrying, too. What is the number one piece of advice you have for aspiring teachers? Be flexible. Be flexible. Uh, consider any opportunity for teaching a positive one. Consider teaching outside of your field of specialization. Be passionate about what you do and uh, transfer that to your students as well. What is your favorite part of your job? Ah, I love working with my students on uh, their writing, particularly individual conferences. I enjoy that a lot. I'm not sure they always enjoy the conferences, but I do. I do. Who is your biggest role model? Ooh, I think my AP high school English teachers. Yes. Um, if you weren't a teacher, what would your dream job be and why? Hmm. Well, I, my dream job is teaching, but if I couldn't teach, I think it would be to become a late night talk show host, maybe a game show host, but I'm kind of doing that as a teacher too. We're, we're conferencing, we're talking, we're having conversations, and we're playing games. We sometimes play Pictionary and Charades as part of our vocabulary exercise. So I get to do all of that as a teacher. What is the craziest thing that has ever happened while teaching? Hmm, well, I don't know if this is the well, a student brought a dead rat to a class in an aquarium once. I'm not sure what that was about. And then a crazy thing, a scary thing that happened during my first semester teaching was I had a student who had a seizure, and I did not know what to do. But thankfully, this was at UT. I had a Hockaday student in the classroom, and her mother was a nurse, and she led us through everything and helped us help the students. So it was really my first introduction to the power and the calm and the grace of Hockaday students. 
If you could have a meal with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? Well, it'd have to be Claude Monet. That's, I wrote a dissertation on Claude Monet. There's a lot of Monet in the classroom. We have Monet up here. So I think I would enjoy having a meal with him, although I'm not sure he would enjoy it as much as I would, but I would enjoy it. What advice would you give your 20-year-old self? Hmm, take more risks. What is the best piece of advice you've ever received? Hmm, be yourself. Do you have any pets? I do not right now. I'd love to have a dog. If you could have any animal as a pet, real or non-real, um, what would it be? I think it would have to be a dog again. A golden retriever would be my dream dog, though. What is your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show? Well, I have two of them. One of them is on my desk. I love the Golden Girls. With Sophia, Rose, Blanche, and Dorothy. And I also am very fond of Mr. Rogers. And I have this little trolley over here. So TV figures prominently in my classroom. What is your favorite food? Favorite food, bread, bread of any sort. What is your least favorite food? Least favorite food, anything with mayonnaise. I'm just, I'm, I'm grossed out by mayonnaise. I don't understand it. What is the weirdest thing you've ever cooked? Weirdest thing, Play-Doh. If your life was a musical, what would it be called? Um, worries and Follies. What is your favorite movie? Favorite movie, uh, Basquiat. What is your favorite book? Favorite book. I have two. Uh, Baudelaire's Les Fleurs de Mal and uh, Marcel Proust's A la Recherche du Temps Perdu, In Search of Lost Time. If you could change your name, what would you change it to? What would I change it to? Well, I haven't used my middle name, so I'll say Alan. What was your first job? First job? Butchering and selling chickens. What is the most terrifying thing you've ever done? Hmm. Well, recently I say it was going off the big, going on the big swing at a lasso. That that was pretty scary. What is your spirit animal? Spirit animal, um, Phlacostomus. I like to keep things clean in the classroom. Can you draw it? Can I draw? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh boy! I'm an art historian, uh, but I always say those who can do, those who can't critique. I think. Oh goodness! I don't know. This looks like a generic fish, but it's a sucker. It cleans out the, the aquarium. It, 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 it adheres to the walls of the aquarium and cleans off the algae. I like to keep clean. I have lots of cleaning products over here. We've got hand sanitizer and towels and more bleach and more Lysol and cleaning products down here. So yeah, I like to keep it clean. I like to keep it clean. Okay, well that's the end, so right. thank you for oh, answering the question. Thank you. Have a great day.